Hi, my name is Dave Sepsik, and I'd like to talk about Power Over Ethernet. There are a lot of misconceptions and myths surrounding Power Over Ethernet, or PoE as it also called. I'd like to explain what PoE is and isn't, and clarify how it can be an important part of your network. Let's start by discussing what it is. It's a standard for sending data and power over Ethernet cable to low wattage devices such as cameras, wireless access points, voice over IP phones, and more. The greatest benefit PoE gives you is the ability to power devices in remote, hard to reach, and non-power locations without worrying about the cost or hassle of running new AC power lines. And it's a lot easier to install Ethernet lines than electrical wiring. Now let's discuss the most common PoE myths. Myth number one, power or Ethernet requires special wiring. If you're using CADEX cable, there is no need to modify or upgrade your existing cabling to use PoE. It operates over regular four-pair Ethernet cable. You can use CAT5 all the way up to CAT7A, and it can be shielded or unshielded. The standards support two different methods of delivering power over Ethernet. In the first, two wire pairs are used for data, the other two pairs are used for power. In the second method, power and data are sent over the same pair but the signals don't interfere with each other because AC power and data operate at opposite ends of the frequency spectrum. For example, electricity has a low frequency of 60 Hz or less. Data has frequencies that range from 10 million to 100 million Hz, so there is no interference. Myth number two, all PoE is the same. There are different PoE standards. The original PoE standard is IEEE 802.3 AF, or simply power of Ethernet. It delivers low level power up to 12.95 watts. The next standard, IEEE 802.3 AT, or PoE Plus, provides at least 25.4 watts of power to support higher power devices such as pan, tilt, and zoom cameras. Myth number three, PoE requires a lot of expensive new network equipment. Actually, you can add PoE devices to your network quite economically. PoE equipment, such as cameras and wireless access points, are called power devices. These devices consume power and are relatively inexpensive. The other type of PoE equipment is called power sourcing equipment. Because these devices send the power over the Ethernet lines, you can buy PoE switches as power sourcing equipment, but it could be much more economical to use mid-span power source equipment, such as injectors or splitters. They go in between your regular network switch and the network and don't require you to place any existing infrastructure. It's easy to add PoE equipment and you don't have to be an electrician. Because most of the equipment is plug and play, you don't have to worry if a device is getting the wrong amount of power or worse, getting power when it shouldn't. This is because the equipment talks to each other. This keeps power from accidentally going to devices that don't support PoE. So that pretty much covers the basics of PoE. It can be easy, economical way to add cameras, wireless access points, speakers, and more to remote, hard to reach, and unpowered areas of your enterprise.